What are going on everybody? Today I'm in Linstead and we're checking out Grants. This is Grants jerk. Them have jerk pork, them have jerk chicken, them have sausage, homemade sausages at that. And they have all sorts of sides that go with that jerk. The smell is amazing. The food looks delicious. This food is flavorful, it's spicy. It has the heat, it has the sweet. This is Grants. Around five minutes drive, once you get off Highway 2000 Linstead, you'll find Grant's Jerk. This place has been here for over 18 years, serving up delicious pork, delicious chicken, and just unbelievable jerk. I hear that the pepper sauce is amazing. People that stop here do it on a ritual basis. Anytime you're coming through these parts, it's almost like coming to Mecca. You have to stop at Grant's to try some of the jerk chicken or get some of the jerk pork. And you can't just buy for yourself, you have to buy for everybody who you're meeting to travel with. So this is one of the true Jamaican spots that we want to look into, see what's going on with the jerk chicken, the jerk flavors of the pork, and just get into some good old Jamaican jerk with that flavor, that spice, that heat, and that sweet, sweet Jamaican aroma. We're in this Grants and them have the jerk chicken, jerk pork, and everything is just smothered on that bed of sweet wood and the flavors, the smell that's coming out of here, you can smell that. It's just seasoned to perfection. And then you have that smoky flavor that has to go into jerk. So when that smoke hits it and creates that bark, this is a place that many people stop on the way out of Kingston, into Kingston, into Linstead, anywhere around this place that you're traveling. It's almost become a place like what Fates Pen used to be. Bates Pen is a forgotten treasure, a hidden gem where we used to stop on the side of the road and get different types of food at different types of stars. But this jerk stop is a must when traveling throughout this area. I had to just literally come off of that highway and stop here. The smell is calling me, the flavors are calling, and just the vibe and of the people and the atmosphere is really, really nice. Welcome to Grant's Jerk Center. We do chicken, pork, sausage, um, festivals plantings, potatoes. Our meals are delicious. We are located at um, Charlie Mount Yerton mm -hmm. or Linstead. Yeah. You make your own sausage as well? Yes, we make our own sausage. Yeah, so this is from start. From scratch from start to finish. We are here for about 18 years. Wow. Yes. 18 years, same spot, same community, same recipe. Yes. yes. Well, thank you so Always much. Always delicious. The number is 856 7828. 856-7828. So yes. we're looking for good authentic jerk, real jerk with the spice that we like right here yes. at Grants in Linston. We can't wait to try so I'm gonna mash up at least a pound. That I just to myself. Delicious. Absolutely. Afternoon, don't know us over there at the Grand Jerk Center. I'm the head chef. We are the with the jerk pork, jerk chicken. We have sachets, and then we have we have a festival. We have potato, we have bar meat, all kind of mixture. We are the best. And you come at Grand Jerk Center, you know they want to the best. We are best customer, our best staff, everything. We are just friendly. Yeah, man. We are people from Moby and Negril Every, all over Jamaica. Yeah, yeah. Just come Jamaica, right not just Linstead. No, you weren't. Yeah, man. Just weren't. Yeah, we have people come down, I then, I then, about, about 50 minutes ago now, but we had some people call me and then come from, or then coming from America. They said they come to Grand Jerk Center, so they might bring some people from in the army, they might come down here, and they said they might come have lunch. So you know, as I said, we have people all over the world. It's coming. We have people in England, America, all over the world. And See? on the so. pepper sauce, me here, sir. Yeah, normal. Pepper sauce, oh. It's yeah. very hot and spicy, <laughs> nice. 
Yes. Yes. Yeah, yeah, man, hot and spicy and nice. You know, it's not a people we're going to burn your burn your people we flavor. Yeah, fever people when you eat it. Just yeah, man, more and more, more and more. Very nice and thing and. And tell them, if I come to Grand Junction, we never forget it. When I come to Junction, I have to carry on the head shake. And they do, yes, the head shake. Yeah, man. I'm always here. So Big up know. myself for the carry yeah, on. Fever. To you and Mrs. Grant, man. Thanks very much. Yeah, man. Yeah, yeah. The coming is it's like yeah. running to somebody who just welcoming. Yeah, man. It's yeah. like, any come to Grand now, it's like I come to your family now. Yeah, man. It's like I come to your family house. Yeah, so I guess your family all along here come there. Everybody glad to see you. It does everybody. It, it, yes, yeah, it does come again, Jack Cinder. You don't have to be like a regular customer. Every customer always be like our first customer. Respect, yeah. man. Yeah. Yo, big up in a shirt. Right. That's it, man. Yeah. This are the jerk. Oh. Pork. And the seasoning, you can see it in there. Boy, the spices, it look like you have the pimento smell, everything what you want in a jerk. Yeah. And then you can see that it's slow cooked as well, so you have yeah. that nice yeah. bark on it. Look like crackling all that come off of the, the skin and everything. The fat starts to render down, the skin is there. The smell is absolutely amazing. Where's the chef? Yeah. 18 year work that? Yeah, man. It's a very hard work here, man. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, so this is the pork. I'm going to show you a nice tender succulent chicken. Yeah, man. Yes. Yes, so chicken. Not dry out. No. When you look funny, you watch. I run out yeah, white. Ju chicken yeah. juicy. We call it succulent chicken. Succulent yes. chicken. Love Very it. nice, spicy. Yes. Yeah, this man. is chicken. This is chicken. I so try everything. Yeah, man. Just, when you come out, just come at Grand Jerk Center. And if you like, you have like any family event, like you keep somewhere you want to keep a jerk, pull a jerk. We can do it for you too. Yeah, man. You see, so we can't do it for anybody. So, when you come at Grand Jerk Center, you, you come at the best. Chicken and pork. Yeah, man. Chicken and pork. Right now. Yeah. You want to get a number, yeah? Come on, see. Come on, you Did you want skin for your red? What's this, bro? Sausage. Yeah, Yes. Yes, brother, my respect. Live and direct. Yeah, man, every time. Yes. Well, this is a step. You know what I mean? Uh, and over here, I'm uh, planting in the pot. And we are planting. Perhaps I'm planting. Yes. I, I know that people plant to sell like a, plant sell like a hot bread. Yeah. But they love planting with spice. I tell you? Like, like a chicken and rice. They need something sweet for liquor heat. Yes. You see me? Richard. Nice. Plan them nice like a wow. Yeah, man. Tell you. Can you hear them already, brother? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> well, what brother can I say, you know? Yeah, man. I got this man. Yeah, you know what Running up. Yeah. Catch yeah. are nice. Yeah, see them, eh? <laughs> nah, drop no catch. No. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, so. You don't know. I fry fry. I fry fry inside this, you know? Yeah, man. Yeah, man. Fry planting, oh, festival, potato. I plant it. Anything you want, go with it. With, with, with the pork? Yeah, man. And then I said, I said, say like a hot bread. Yeah, man. Yeah, man. Wow. Yeah, man. 
Yeah. Come on, let me take you right, Tessa. Let's put it on top. Respect. We are literally on the side of the road, right here in Linstead. You can hear the cars passing. Undoubtedly, the star of the show is always the jerk pork when it comes to Jamaica. Jerk being first done on pork with the introduction of the Tainos and Maroons and that fusion, that mix, when they linked up together using some of the African traditions, African ways of cooking and with the spices that were locally found here and creating this amazing cuisine. And this jerk is smells good. It has an amazing aroma. And with that pepper sauce, I can't wait to taste it. Mm. Wow. That pork is so tender, so juicy. You're getting that flavor of jerk in there. You're getting the smoke. Mmm. Oh man, I'm gonna mash up the whole of this. Mm. And I always wondered what that was in between there. You saw those like peppercorns or pepper flakes that was on it. The rub that they put on it is something that looks like it have the pepper, it have the pimento. They use pimento wood and sweet wood. Mm -mm. Yeah, man. Each different bite is like a flavor bomb of jerk flavor. This is some really, really nice jerk, mellow flavors. Nice vibe right on the side of the road. The road. 18 years of cooking this and you can see why it's lasted for 18 years. Spice, nice, flavorful, juicy, and very sweet. Look at that, wow. You can almost see where this has become red, and that redness is the smoke that's gotten under there. So I can't wait to try the crust and the bark and get a little crunch of that. Mm. Wow. You know, that bark has been just rubbed down with pimento, with pepper, with their 18 year old special jerk seasoning that they put on it, the rub that's been infused on it. This is special. This isn't like jerk that you have in some of the other areas where you don't get that flavor and you don't get that pepper on it. It's because we're out of the touristy areas we linsted, you're getting the pepper on the jerk, and I appreciate that. I didn't even need to dip it into the pepper sauce as yet but the pepper sauce on this well so i'm going into the first piece of chicken breast and this it's very juicy and tender and it literally has still it's not dried or anything they look like they take the time and prepare it mm. heavy smoke flavor heavy smoke flavor which you need in jerk chicken yeah man nice bark nice everything we're starting off right and you can start off right like that and I don't get into the pepper sauce yet. We just went out to smother the pepper all over it, but the amount of just pepper seed that's in this. So we smother that pepper sauce all over that chicken and oh wow. No man. I really don't find it that spicy. Oh, there we go. There we go with the heat. The spice is in there. It, it, the amount of pepper seeds that were in there had me wondering when it when they tell he said it inside that our oh, well, pepper isn't extremely spicy, not when burning so much. It just adds flavor. It adds flavor and adds the right amount of heat because I just get in a nice mellow vibe off of it. It's still a little strong, so. I'd, I'd encourage the non-pepper lovers when you're using it, use it with a little caution because trust me, this is something I'd pack up and carry home and put it on even a sandwich. Mm. Homemade jerk sausage. Mm. Yo. Wow. This is really, really really delighting there's pepper there's flavor it's a little salt in there that just brings out that added flavor of it and i think it's like pimento that's crushed up in there as well so it's a jerk sausage but you can see a little of the scallion and stuff fresh seasoning that's been put in there but the flavor of this sausage is absolutely magnificent this 
sausage is just blowing my mind away. The, the flavor that's in there, the, the salty, sweet, savory flavor that's mixed together with the sweetness of the pork itself and the saltiness that the seasoning has in there, the salt has infused in the sausage. And it's not a lot of fat mixture, so it's still cooked very nicely. No skin on the outside or, or casing or anything. Just fall, break off a pot, they roll it and they cook it in the foil and just put it right there on the grill, on that pit. It's just a flavor. Wow. Bomb panels. Mm. I'll do this now. I add like a pepper. I heighten up the flavor. No. Yeah, man. I'm thoroughly enjoying the entire meal. The pork, the chicken, the sausage. I didn't even get any sides because it's just this amount of food and the flavors that were coming out there. My nostril was going crazy. The warmth, the welcome, the atmosphere that everybody in the kitchen has greeted me with. It's just love, it's hospitality, it's real Jamaica, it's real Jamaican food, and it's just a supreme place to come eat, enjoy what you want, enjoy what you're having, and just get out, explore, and have some nice food. God. Spice up your life. So adding that spice to it now, and then you get in the little parts of the bark. You know that bark has intense flavor. When you bite into it, it should have some crunch. Oh no, I bone that. Oh, that's a rib. Mm. You bite off my teeth, bite in there about flavor. Bite in the top bone. Oh, that pepper. That pepper. I mean, look how red. I hope you can see this, how red it is. And the rings that are around it. People go so all the time, I tell you now that, hey, that's the smoke that's gone in there. Mm. Wow. I'm not getting a lot of vinegar in the pepper. That pepper sauce is really nice. And there we go with that smoke ring again. Every part of it has been smoked so much. When you put that pepper sauce on it, that pepper sauce has so much flavor, but it's not flavor of like vinegar that you get at certain places where they just overload it with vinegar. And that really acts as a preservative. This one is not made to sit. This is made to be consumed and consumed with good food, good pork, good chicken, good sausage. Every part of the meat of all three is flavorful. Every part is Jamaican seasoned. And when I say Jamaican seasoned, this is not tourist food. This is Jamaican linstick food right here at Grant's Jerk. This food is flavorful, it's spicy. It has the heat, it has the sweet, and it encompasses everything that you want from Jamaican jerk. And just sitting here on the side of the road is another part of the experience. Having the cars zoom by, having the smell of the food in the background, and the warmth of the people, the inside, the outside, whether you want to stay at the counter and have it there, or you want to sit outside in the hot sun like me and burn up. But it's all worth it. The taste, the flavor, the smells, exciting all senses. The passion for the country to drive through and stop at somewhere like this. Experience food like this. Food that's been here for 18 years. Trust me, it's worth it. Mm. I can't get over how good this food is. Everything. I'm trying to wrap the video up. I'm trying to carry some for some other people to enjoy, but I can't stop eating it. It's so good. Oh my God. Yo. This is literally one of the nicest jerk spots. The people and the food that I've been to throughout Jamaica. Right now, the banks are win. They might win. They might win hard. Mm. I'm back in everything. Come back to wrap it up, wrap it up, wrap it up. Mm -mm. Ladies and gentlemen, I've had the pleasure of eating at a lot of jerk spots throughout my life in Jamaica. And this has been one of the best, most flavorful, most authentic, most welcoming, warming, most hospitable, you name it. I'd like to thank Miss Grant. 
and Karen, the chef, the head chef, everybody in the kitchen, big up themselves, man. Thank you to everybody. The hospitality, the warmth that we felt since we've been here has been amazing. And if you get a chance to, this is has to go as a must stop now. And you might catch me here regular. Cause anytime me I pass, me have to stop here. So, but big up on yourself. Stay safe. Respect. Big up. Bones. One love. Denny, man, you see me on him and yeah, man. Thing. Respect to Bones. I'm just mm -hmm. respect to everybody in our kitchen, man. Yeah, man, I'm the thing. Yeah, no yeah. joke.